What's up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about um, the construction industry in this current situation. Unemployment, what do you do if you get laid off, returning back to work, who's working, who's not working, and uh, what are these, at least the union contractors, doing to supply an extra level of safety for the people that are returning back to work. But first, we got to head to the corner. What's up everybody? Welcome to the 2020 Lockdown Corner. You're on the Nomadic King channel. I'm James Showers, of course, and I'm standing in front of a mushroom getting rained on. I was looking for a lizard, but it didn't work out. So, I don't know if we can make this to the whole whole video, so we're changing this. A little shout out to Cat Trumpet if you're into videos like that. And there we go. We're back with the fish tank. All right, so talking about a few things in this video. We're talking about, uh, you know, the current situation, really. So we got unemployment rate currently at almost 17%. Maybe it is even 17% at this time, which is pretty crazy. Uh, a lot of that workforce is uh, um, in states that have um, required people to be essential workers or on a essential projects to continue working so an essential worker is someone who needs to work to keep everything running i think a lot of you guys already know that an essential project is something that's already in the works today that needs to be completed like a school or something that's going to benefit us in the future or even um, i think some some buildings not even essential projects, but at least a necessary to, to completion, to complete or whatever, where, the, you know, like say they don't have, uh, it's not, it's not weathered in, you know, so they need to at least complete these steps to get these jobs wrapped up, at least in the construction industry. So depending on the state you're in, uh, you might have some sort of stay at home, shelter in place order. And uh, if you do, and you're non-essential, you're supposed to be at home working. I'm sure a lot of uh, subcontractors and there's some other um, people that are still able to work. They, they get around it or whatnot. So, um, you know, got to do what you got to do to make some money. Right now, I am on an essential project, actually. And... Uh, uh, a few weeks ago, they took the precautions to shut the down, shut the job down, anyways, for a couple weeks, just so you know we have a baseline standard of what's what's happening. So um, I ended up getting laid off for uh, about two and a half weeks. So when you end up in a situation like that, even if it's not uh, you know a crisis like it is now, um, you basically Go and make your claim on unemployment. If uh, you're a subcontractor, normally you don't have uh, unemployment insurance. I think at this time they've uh, they've put something in the bill that's going to allow subcontractors to get money as well. Whether or not that's available yet or not, uh, you're going to have to check into that yourself. But if you uh, have the unemployment um, insurance available to you then the best way to do that is to do it online um you know make the proper fill the proper forms and uh, do all the proper whatnots to get your money so with, with that out of the way i had my two weeks off i returned back to work so um i want to talk about a few of the things that they're doing at the job site to um, better the safety of the workers or at least follow some sort of protocol given to them by either the, the um, overall job that we're on, like the, uh, I think the owners of the job. I don't want to mention the actual, you know, place I'm working at, but I think they required them to shut down for a couple weeks and they might have a protocol for them to follow. I'm not uh, that high up in the chain to tell you whether or not it was their decision or if it was the contractor's decision, but 
Either way, um, the, the decision was made to shut down the job and the decision was made to put a few different uh, protocols in place. So I'm gonna put a few pictures up on the screen of some pictures I took from the job site. This is us here. Well, hold on. That right there, that's us here lining up for work. So we're uh, lining up, staying six feet apart, obviously. And uh, as we come into the job, we have to have our temperatures taken and we have a uh, daily script of who's there, who they're working for, uh, what your temperature was that day, and they ask you a list of questions. And uh, we also have this right here, which is a hand wash station. It's actually the nicest one that I've seen on a uh, commercial job site anyways, uh, or any job site really. It has hot water and it's, uh, the faucets are spaced over six feet apart and there's uh sanitizer and all that good stuff so there's that and then we also have this picture here of uh the outhouses spaced six feet apart and uh they are putting cones in front of the door so the doors are being propped open and if you use them you know shut your door pull the cone out shut your door when you get out you put the cone back to keep that door open I mean I guess it keeps it fresher in there right so that's good that's the protocol and then there's uh two different stairs there's one on the north side and one on the um, south side north side you're gonna be heading up the stairs and the south side you'll be heading down the stairs and then they're also going to be bleaching those stairs uh, at the end of every day. So they have a spray with bleach and they come and spray down all the handles and everything. And then I believe they do them at our, um, at our break and uh, our lunch. Maybe just the break, one of the two. But they do it at least two to three times a day. They'll come through and they spray the bleach on uh, everything. Um, we're also staggering shifts of the different trades that are on the job so we have some people coming in at, earlier some people coming in later so it's supposed to keep a lot less people there you know like trying to get in the morning and trying to get all out at the same time at the end of the day so um it, it breaks the amount of people crowded together um and then what we are doing as uh, the company that i work for at this place they're putting in place that uh their their rules are that when we do our meeting once we finally make it in the job and get to where we're going to meet we're meeting in groups less than 10 so we have a uh, separated where we are um a few different groups of people and we'll do our stretch and flex our safety topic um, bring up any concerns and then you know talk about what we're going to be doing for the for the day and and get rolling so our crews are a lot smaller and then us as a company as well have have our own spray bottles of bleach that we have to use for anything that we feel like we want to spray down it i've been trying to get uh like the face shields for when you're chop saw when you're using chop saw trying to spray the face shield a little bit so um you know that's been sprayed off handles like the chop saw handle i'll actually We'll use the bleach on the, the lifts all the way around the rails and the control box and, um, you know, maybe even the gang box and around like, you know, when you're grabbing it to lift the lift it open and whatnot. And the, um, the little carts we use to push our tools around and spray the handles down and whatnot. So, um, that's available daily. I believe you have to make a new solution every day but um it's available if you need it to spray you know things down you feel could be contaminated and then um they are not providing any sort of uh of mask but most people have some sort of uh wrap or something that um they they use it's not an n95 and i don't know what sort of level of protection it provides you but I feel like it at least keeps um, spittle and moisture from making contact to your 
mouth and nose. Um, everyone else is wearing safety glasses so that keeps your eyes protected as well and you obviously have gloves on and there's plenty of sanitizer um well there's there's sanitizer at stations and they also have sanitizer um i believe at the the fence line or something too so you can get some if you need it but um i think we already have our own as in like myself and my wife we have our own that we stocked up on so we've got our masks our gloves and our uh sanitizer if needed or whatnot so um returning to work was a little weird uh, at first and following the protocols you just kind of have to slowly um you know work back into being able to do production doing production um while implementing your um, social distancing orders and your uh protocols for cleanliness and and uh you know just kind of having to be a little a little extra cautious and aware of what you're doing in in your surrounding so um that's my experience as of right now i'd like to hear your guys' experience are you guys working through this are you essential af um let me know in the comments down below the company i am working for right now uh this is one of the only jobs i believe they only have like two jobs that are going so the rest of them are shut down so a lot of guys are at home and that, that kind of sucks um we do have obviously unemployment in place and uh, under this act that they they put in there should be an extra 600 dollars a week for anyone on unemployment um you know and and, and that's not bad when you're comparing what you'd get on unemployment to what you take home i mean you'd at least match your take home wage on unemployment right now so you wouldn't be um you know so far behind at least if that all gets rolled out you'd obviously be doing a lot better if you could stay working because you can keep your insurance and your retirement still builds up and you're obviously paying more tax while you're getting the wage you're taking home yada yada so i hope everything's getting back together and uh back on track here pretty soon um who knows when that will all happen as long as the the shelter in place orders are there a lot of our jobs are going to be shut down but when you do go back to work you might expect to see the same sort of um um, protocols I just talked about on the job site so like I said let me know if you guys are working resi commercial union and uh, if you guys are taking extra precautions or uh, what you think about this whole little deal and uh, all that good stuff uh, like share subscribe and I guess I'll see you on the next video peace